So we've still got a problem and we're still limping our way towards the closest town that could possibly help us. The key word here being slowly limping, but nothing says that we can't have a little fun along the way while we're limping, right? So today we're going hunting for ghosts. Because when you're in the wild west, there's gotta be ghosts, you know, gunfights, okay corral. Somebody's gotta be floating around. So let's get going. Assuming the bus lets us, please bus, be nice. Please get us to where we need to go. Okay, but before we can tell you why we're doing this and where we're going next, Nikki just saw the sign called Continental Divide Gift Shop, greatest gift shop in the Southwest. <laughs> A little scary getting here. but let's see what's going on. I know it's a gift shop, but I gotta keep her happy. I have no idea what the hell this thing is. New schoolie? We can convert it. I'm not sure two people could stay in here. I'm not sure one person could stay in here. Sounds like a pretty good time to give you an update on what's been going on. If you didn't see the video yesterday, our bus is overheating and overheating bad. It's always done it, but well, getting into the mountains here in New Mexico, <laughs> it was not happy. So we're scrambling slowly over to Tucson, which is the closest place we can get a bus mechanic over 300 miles away. So every day, hour or two, just sort of creeping there slowly, giving the bus time to, well, to heal itself or at least get there in one piece and today we're going to a ghost town shakespeare ghost town something like that it's it looks really cool on the map it looks really cool in photos can't wait to see it in person first i gotta see what nikki got herself from the shop sweetie what did you get from the shop oh i got a oh i got a sticker you got a, a sticker? cocoa belly with a cocoa belly <laughs> and i got a day of the dead but he wrapped it like oh. really well, like if I'm going somewhere. Ooh, layers are in that thing. No one can ever, no one can ever have too many shashikis. <laughs> interrupt this vlog for an important public announcement. Do you see this thing by my foot? Absolutely, whatever you do, do not move your foot left if you're ever in my situation. I did. Okay, we finally made it to Shakespeare Ghost Town, and I'm gonna tell you why the name. It's actually kind of interesting, but this place has been in one man's family for a very, very, very long time. Way back in the day, it was an old silver town, then it was a copper town. It was a fairly substantial town. A railroad even went through it, and then, well, after all that sort of faded away, so did the town. It was purchased as the ranch, and that family decided to keep the buildings. There's only eight of them left, but they're building them back to the way they were. So it's the living piece of history out here in the middle of freaking nowhere. <laughs> There's nothing around me except for this building and a big gravel road. Why is it called Shakespeare? It actually used to have another name and there was a, a swindle going on. Apparently some people were taking some diamonds and littering them around the mountains and getting people to come in and go, oh, diamond prospecting. When the hoax came out, Nobody wanted anything to do with this town anymore. So some uh, English guy decided, well, let's just rename it Shakespeare. Maybe people won't notice and they'll move back. Didn't work so much. It really is a cool place. And now I'm just gonna stop talking. There's a big bee who's getting ready to attack me. I'm gonna go run away from him. You go watch the show. <laughs> Okay, I know it's been a fairly chaotic vlog so far. Wow, it's really bright over there. But you see the sun panels behind me, the solar panels? Well, we had a milestone today and I just wanted to share it with you. We are running 100% on solar right now, meaning all of the power that is going on inside the bus, everything that's cooking dinner, everything is coming from the sun, not the batteries, not whatever juice that we happen to have purchased before. We are independent. We have our own water, we, we have everything. I'm just happy. It just kind of makes me happy to be 
for a moment, not dependent on anybody, but that blindy thing over there. And the other thing I want to talk about is getting out of the sun and finishing this up because I can't stand looking over there. Okay, I need to get serious with you just for a minute. I am struggling. I am struggling with this whole bus thing. I know nomadic life living in a bus is supposed to be oh so joyful, so happy. And it is, don't get me wrong. I am having an absolute time of my life. I was having a better time when that bus was working a whole lot better. The, the fact that it's suddenly overheating when I'm in the middle of all of this mountains and so far away from home. And I don't know how I'm gonna get it fixed. You know, my son-in-law couldn't fix it. My son-in-law's father couldn't fix it. Now I'm gonna have some random stranger in Tucson. I'm hoping he's gonna fix it. I know somehow we will get through this. I know this is just adversity that you gotta plow through, but for some reason it's weighing heavily on me. So that's why I'm having some fun with these last few videos on the vlog. Even though I know that this bus is one inch away from, well, not getting us where we wanna go, I still can't stop living. I still can't stop trying to find things like this ghost town behind me and I wonder if there's going to be ghosts in it tonight there might be anyway if there are I'll have a really good video for you tomorrow but I digress I need to work past this struggle I need to work past this and I will so from the great state of New Mexico in the middle of I don't know which desert there is I know it's the Oregon Mountains sitting over there anyway thanks for watching we'll see you tomorrow